In this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, a little more exploration of the macro template for creating GIFT questions uh, using uh, the Moodle macro. Let's take a look at that. Go to the desktop. I've already downloaded it. And you can pull it from the site, or you can pull it from most. Do a search. Uh, Moodle template, or if you've been following my web pages, you'll know where to get it as well. Let's open it. I'm going to open it with Microsoft Office Word. And the first thing we're going to do is we'll see that I've already created uh, some matching questions. We'll go ahead and delete those. Let's create a true statement. Very simple. Create a true statement. Type a true false statement. Insert a true statement here. Uh, true statement would be computers are not necessarily silicon based. That's a true statement. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're done. So we save it. We give it a unique name. It defaults to the number one. We'll save it on the desktop to make it easy to sort it out save and now we're going to export this question and it, you can see that it tags the date right there it's a plain text document I repeat it's a plain text document we click save and we're done now uh, if you wanted to continue to work you could of course open uh, the one document that we opened earlier or you can, I believe, even continue to work here. It works. You can continue to create false statements. So let's try that. False statement. Capitalize. Correct capitalization in English, of course, is important. Computers are very difficult to master. It's a false statement. Uh, computers are relatively easy to master given the use of GUIs and macros like this one. So I'm going to export this one. Export. Please save my document. Interestingly enough, uh, it wants to save it as a plain text. We don't want to do that. I'm going to save it as a Word document. Save it just as is. A legal question. Okay, so it doesn't like the uh, the file. It doesn't like mixing your exports. So once you've created a question, uh, or once you've created a set of questions, you can have hundreds of questions in one page and then export. But I don't recommend that. Uh, this macro is not perfect. I would stick with uh, incremental creation of questions uh, and copy paste all of your text documents into one. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that. Let's do a false statement here click false. Uh, we've already visited this question before. Computers are difficult to master. That's a false statement. We'll save it. Uh, and now we will export it. Export. Give it a different number. Save. Now our document has been uh, exported to a text. Start D to bring us back out to the desktop. You can see that we have two text files here. But let's make it even easier to look at by clicking Explore, Desktop, Sort by Type. And there's our text. There's our text document. So it's, this one should be the true question, I believe, and this one will be our false. Let's open it up and take a look. That's our true statement, and there's our false statement. Now, what we're going to do is combine these two. Control C, copy and open up this document here and paste just like that file save as we'll call it q.txt and now we have three text documents on our desktop type one two three this is the question this is the text that you would upload uh, for the assignment so we'll do lots of these tutorials until everybody understands the process uh, for the time being, be satisfied in knowing that you have just successfully created one uh, true question and one false question. Thank you very much for watching.